Sneaky links were never fun and they were never beneficial. It's all an illusion. It's Amber J. Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's learn, pretty girls. And also, while you're here, just follow my Instagram as I also post updates. Playing these games and playing toxic games hurts the woman more than anything. It will always affect the woman more than it will affect the man. A lot of women, we naturally, we feel like, oh yeah, we can just have sex. We can just have the fun guy. But once feelings get involved and we, we notice that the fun guy is not, is, is really only having fun and he's all about just having fun, vice versa, the guy wants the girl and she's only just having fun and that toxic relationship starts to form, that's trauma. And that's not fair to your new partner because it's like, what does your new partner get that your ex-partner who was just the fun guy get? I have to be in a relationship with you and I got to have sex and do all this other stuff when this person got the sex and didn't have to do nothing. So it's like when you openly say, yeah, I had a sneaky link. Some people will be like men and women to be like, well, I don't want to know about that. Like, I don't want to know that somebody was able to do all, get all this from you and didn't do nothing. And I'm here doing everything, especially if they don't already like you like that. We kind of know everybody has had a sneaky link, but we don't want to hear about it. We don't want to know about it. A lot of people would prefer, especially men, would prefer to be your side dude than your main dude. Like, it's a video going around saying like, hey, yeah, girls break up with their boyfriend and try to promote me to the main dude. No, I'm still going to say your side piece because I don't, I don't want to take on that responsibility. Some people don't want to play that role. I'm knocking you down without playing that role. Who wants to do that? Well, I work hard if you still get paid. You get trauma. You could possibly get yourself an incurable STD. It's so many women out here running around with stuff they can't get rid of of a sneaky link. Of a sneaky link. A guy that they don't even want to talk to anymore. Some got a hookup. And now, right now, you can go on Reddit. Oh, it wasn't worth it because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. You're looking for fun in between your next relationships, but you got to understand that that trauma that sneaky links build onto you or each each bad relationship is built trauma, period. It interferes with the trauma bonding. It causes emotional damage. It causes trauma, period. And that sneaky link stuff just adds on to it. It just smacks dab adds on to it. And I want to do a video about how depression and breakups and all this stuff leads them into sneaky link culture because they think they're getting a better deal out of being somebody's sneaky link than being somebody's girlfriend. When you have a sneaky link, that sneaky link is not only sneaky linking with you, okay? You don't know how many girls 21 years old come in fuming downstairs because they thought their sneaky link was only sneaking with them trauma unnecessary damage unnecessary emotional damage trust issues all this is now forming because of a sneaky link people they want to be in sneaky link cultures all the time because they're running away from themselves they don't want to sit and reflect on what that bad relationship and their part in it they'd rather just run to the next person to hop on their their johnson or hop in their cooch to feel something instead of saying you know what what went wrong in my last relationship what did i do in my last relationship how can i heal from that and then i'll step out no they just jump right in the sneaky culture because it makes them feel good it makes them forget that they were the problem or that they contributed to the problem a lot of these people who want sneaky leaks are running from something they're running from themselves and they're running from their past wasted time only leads to trauma laying in somebody's bed the past time Weeks turns into years, years turns into two years. Now you're stuck in a situation, your feelings all involved, and that person does not want you. So now you're upset, and now you think everybody's trying to play you. It's, it's so much unnecessary baggage. Fun guys, especially us as women, we get the damage out of it. Nothing fun in the end with being with a fun guy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think.